Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today we might just have the luckiest shop ever in the history of Clash Royale, because not only do we have the Mega Knight in there, but taking a look up here, guys, we also have a legendary chest in the shop as well, so really hoping to get two Mega Knights out of the shop today, back to back, fingers crossed, but let's go ahead here, guys, buy our first one for 40,000 gold, boom, there we go, got a Mega Knight, I wish it showed the animation when you bought a uh, legendary out of the shop. But we're going to go ahead here, also open up this legendary chest as well for 500 gems. Please, please, please give me another Mega Knight. Moment of truth, guys. Let's go ahead here. Give me, give me, give me Mega Knight, please. And yes, guys, back to back Mega Knight, guys. Wow. Two Mega Knights in a row. Three out of two. That is crazy. How lucky is that to get back to back Mega Knights? Let's go ahead here. Boom. There we go, you got a Mega Knight, thank you sir, sold out. So, if I had 200,000 gold, I can go ahead and buy two more, but we are poor guys. So we're gonna go ahead here, upgrade this Mega Knight to level two, boom, 5,000 gold, thank you sir. There we go guys, boom, thank you. But we're gonna go ahead here guys, jump into a ladder battle with our fresh new shiny level two Mega Knight. The Mega Knight is so strong right now in the meta, but that being said, a level 2 Mega Knight is still extremely low level for this trophy range. So I might not do all ladder battles. I might jump into some 2v2 to play around with our level 2 Mega Knight guys because um, it honestly isn't too strong at this trophy range. So let's go uh, just poison that pump. Or not the pump, the furnace. Why do I want to say pump for that? I don't know, guys. Uh-oh. What row? Boom! Mega Knight, get it done! Mega Knight is 7. I think Elite Barbarians are 6, so... We should be okay right there. Jump, Mega Knight, jump. All right, he dead. He died pretty quickly, guys. He died pretty quickly for something that's supposed to be a mega, a mega tank. He went down pretty fast. e are getting a hit off. Thank you. e are tankier than the Mega Knight, guys. <laughs> but uh, to put it in perspective, like against like 13 commons at this trophy range, like basically everyone has at least 12 commons, if not 13 commons. Uh, to have a fair fight against those car levels, you would honestly need level 4, level 5 uh, Mega Knight, which is just craziness, I uh, think. Get in there, Mini P.E.K.K.A. Yes, there we go, Minions do work. Nice, guys, nice. Minions doing work to that tower right there. He says, oops, and he wasted the Zaspel as well. I'm definitely okay with that defense right there, or that offense, guys, because his Zaspel was a huge negative trade on his part. So what I want to do here is go wait for it, wait for these spirits to get in there, and then go boom, boom, nice. Let's do E-barbs right here. Oh, minions. I can accept minions, guys. Ignore that on the counter push. Now, I wish we had our... I wish we had our... Uh, what do you call it? In our hand, our miner. Because we don't want to use mini P.E.K.K.A. just yet, but we have to. Because he just... We just don't have anything else to use. So let's go miner back here. He's going to split E-barbs? All right, sir. We're not going to poison that just yet, because we got to wait here. Let's go minions for this barb right here. Oh, nice! Get a mini P.E.K.K.A. hit in the tower. Thank you, mini P.E.K.K.A. Watch this, guys. Boom. And boom. Right here. Does he do RG on the right? Nice. There we go, guys. Let's go with Mega Knight Miner here on the right. What else you got for us? Minions in the back, probably. Where's your minions, sir? There we go. The Electro Wizard will kill the minions. The minions in the back doing work, guys. Look at this. The Miner taking out the Executioner by itself. Tower's gonna go down here soon. Mega Knight jumping like crazy over here, guys. Mini P.E.K.K.A. over here. Let's get a Mega Knight on this uh, RG. Scratch the moustache. What do we got, guys? What does he got now? E-barbs? Where's your E-barbs, sir? I know you want to use them. I know you're itching to use them. Watch this, guys. Ready, zap? Do work, Mini P.E.K.K.A. Yes, kill the E-barbs. There we go, guys. Look at this flying saucer. Getting grounded here. Mega Knight level 2, guys. Crushing the max level Elite Barbarians as well as the Royal Giant, guys. Wow, that was intense. Uh, thumbs up to you, sir. Thumbs up. Plus nine trophies. We'll go ahead and do one more ladder battle. Unlock this. One more ladder battle, and then we'll do like a 2v2 battle. Um, and just experiment with our level 2 Mega Knight. Because uh, I feel like if we do any more ladder, we'll get crushed by card levels. Um, but we'll see here. It's always hard building decks out of legendary cards on ladder. Because even if you have all of them unlocked, uh, chances are your legendaries just aren't high enough compared to like common cards. So even if you are lucky like me to have like every legendary card, um, you might have like a level two bandit or a level two infernal dragon like I do, 
and then you go to use them and you like get crushed against like you know 13 barbarians or whatever so we're gonna go counter pressure here on the right does he have arrows does he have anything e wizard all right so gonna kill nice guys the mini survive right there that was all because of his low level cards to be honest guys um let's go e wizard here to kill this pekka and i want to save Oh, I was going to say save our Me Mega Knight, but we're going to go boom. Skeletons to kill the E-Barbs. Look at this, guys. The Mega Knight taking out a P.E.K.K.A. as well as the Elite Barbarians. Get wrecked, son, guys. A battle of the heavyweights right there. One more Naked Miner on the right because he's got to defend the left-hand lane. He won't have Elixir for both sides. Ooh, we might have overextended, guys. We might have overextended. Let's go minions for these Barbs and hope he doesn't have arrows. Do work, minions. Oh, baby. It's going perfectly so far, guys. It's going perfectly. Reaper, DR808. What did I say? DR? DR808, guys. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> but uh, we have the option of poisoning this uh, pump. So we're going to go ahead and do it and accept that option. Now, does he have musketeers in there? That's the question. Some people do rock um, Pekka three musketeers. So we don't know, guys. Maybe. If he does, we might be dead. I don't know. We'll see. But the Mega Knight is decent against the Musketeers, but against level 2 Mega Knight, it'll just probably die really fast, is my guess. Right here. Da -da -da. Two Musketeers, guys. Fireball there. Okay. Uh, let's go with Mini P.E.K.K.A. for this uh, this dude. Boom. Nice. There we go, guys. Watch this. Ready for this? P.E.K.K.A.'s down. Minis will kill the that, and then go watch this, guys. Boom. Mega Knight on Elite Barbarians, guys. The most beautiful sight in Clash Royale is the Mega Knight versus the Elite Barbarians, guys. If you ever lose to the Elite Barbs, just use a Mega Knight in your deck. And it crushes them. Let's go one more E-Wizard over here. And then we'll do Skeletons to distract that P.E.K.K.A. And this is going perfectly so far, guys. Watch the Skeletons here. He's going to log the E-Wizard. We're going to go Minions here. Electro Wizard is a dead. Do you guys do you guys mind if I say E-Wizard for Electro Wizard? Or should I just say, like, Electro Wizard? Because some people say E-Wizard is a weird saying. Let's go Miner back here. Uh, let's just, ooh, ooh, let's poison this, mini P.E.K.K.A. do work, there we go, kill the Executioner, let's go, Zapparoo, and then Mega Knight once again, guys, boom, landing with a splash, taking out all of those barbs, and we're gonna go over here with some skillies, and we just need a couple minor, minor poisons, minor poison uh, minions is what I might do here, boom, boom, poison here, can we zap the E-Wizard, does he do it? Fireball there, but he might be dead, guys. One more hit. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, baby. He's dead, guys. Reaper, DR, getting reaped. Wow. So first we beat, like, a max royal giant, and then we beat a level 7 P.E.K.K.A. with both max level elite barbarians as well as max level regular barbarians. Another 28 trophies for us, guys. Wow. Insane. All right, so let's jump into another ladder one, guys. As soon as we lose a battle, we will go ahead and do a 2v2 battle with this Mega Knight as well. Um... I know some people in the game right now have like max level Mega Knight, like level 5 already, which in my opinion is like absolutely crazy because uh, I don't know how much like money it costs to get a max level legendary day one, but I think it's somewhere around like $5,000 or something like that to get a max level legendary. I don't know. I know that when the Night Witch came out, I did 100,000 gems, super magical chest opening, and we got one Night Witch. So 100,000 gems in Canada is a uh, thousand Canadian dollars in the app store because the prices are higher for Canadians than it is for uh, for you guys if you're in the States or anywhere else. Um, but uh, one Night Witch out of 100,000 gems, that's 20 super magical chests, guys. We got one Night Witch. So at that rate, like, do you know how, do you have any idea how much it would cost to get a max Night Witch? Insane, dudes. Totally insane. Um, let's just do one of these, I think. I think, guys. Osiris, get out of here with that goblin barrel. Oh, no. Get out of here with those minions, I should say. All right, so we did okay. I, I think it's important that we didn't zap that barrel there because we saved the zap for the minion horde. But uh, we can still definitely play a bit better. I just got, I can't use anything next to our tower because he's got that fireball. So I might just do Mega Knight right here and do like a slow Mega Knight push. Actually, poison this, get the furnace, the spear goblins, as well as these fire spurts. Boom. Die, fire spirits. Thank you. And now right here, we're going to wait, wait, wait. What does he do? My nose is itchy, but it doesn't matter because we're going to go Mega Knight back here. I really got to itch my nose, but I don't want to do it on camera, guys. So I'm going to save it and just pretend it's not itching. So Mega Knight back there. He can't fireball a Mega Knight. Well, he can, but I don't think he will. 
So, Osiris, Osiris. Boom! Look at this guy, the Mega Knight, he, like, he half jumped. He tried to intercept the, uh, the, what do you call it? The barrel in mid-air. That would be so cool. Could you imagine if he hit the barrel in mid-air? Would have been awesome, dudes. Would have been... Wow, zap right here, guys. Gold, Mega Knight, go! Tower's gonna be dead, guys. Absolutely, Tower is dead. Osiris, good game to you, sir. Good game indeed. So, should I do a 2v2 battle at the end? Um, just for fun, or should I keep going with... Um, should I keep going with this uh, deck on ladder, guys? What do you think? Should I keep doing more ladder battles, or should I do a 2v2 one and see how it does in there? I don't know, dudes. Uh, I kind of want to do like this. Do a poison. Zap minions. Miner back here. If it does barrel on the left, I don't even care. Cause oh, he got mirror in there. All right. Interesting choice, my friend. Mmm. Four eyeball right here, probably. Boom. Nice. Goblin barrel go down. Thank you. Good game to our friend Osiris, guys. 373 health on our tower at the end there. I can't believe we're having so much success with this Mega Knight at level 2. Like, that's crazy, because if my Mega Knight was equal level, like level 4 or level 5, could you imagine how much stronger this deck would be with a decent level Mega Knight? But boom, 30 trophies right there. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and finish the video off with one more ladder battle. I decided against the 2v2, just because, um, I don't know. 2v2 is like way, way more chill, I guess, than, uh, than uh, ladder, and I feel like ladder is more exciting to watch, um, than... 2v2 mode. So let me know what you think, guys. Should I have done 2v2? Or should I have just done um, what I'm doing right now, which is ladder? Let's so get the mini pack to kill that miner. And then we're gonna go probably miner right here. Nope. We're, we're gonna chill, guys. We're gonna chill. The mini pack is a dead person. Get one head off. Thank you. E Wizard should get a head off the prince and reset his charge. And then we can do. Boom. There we go. There we go, guys. Do work, E Wizard. Kill the Valkyrie. Yes. Whoa! Guys! That E-Wizard got wrecked! Wow! Absolutely shredded! Like, the Valkyrie did more than half his health in one hit. That is insane, guys. Max level Valkyrie OP. So, do we want to do Naked Miner here? Uh, we might as well. Take his clothes off, guys. Naked Miner right there. What do you got for us? Fire Spirits. I'm okay with that. For basically one Alexa, we got some chip damage to his tower, so I'm definitely okay with that. Go this, this. Can we E-Wizard right here? Yes, sir. You got arrows? You do, guys. You do, but the E-Wizard, please shut it down. Uh, we're going to zap here, just in case. I got panic. I panicked, guys. I panicked. The balloon is nasty. If the balloon gets to your tower, even for one second, it basically dies. So you don't want the balloon to get to your tower there. So, DJ Aztec Mystic. Interesting name, dude. Wonder if he's a true DJ. Mix us up some tunes here. Let's go... Miner back here. Does he predict the Valkyrie? I should probably switch the location of my miners there. Because, uh... What we're doing ain't working, guys. So, what do you got for us now, sir? Where is your stuff? I want to know where you're going, buddy. I want to know where you're going. Let's go... He was right here. Boom. Minions to shut down the balloon right here, and then boom. Nice. Mini pick, get back there, please. Maybe if I could get back to Valkyrie right here. Maybe if I get one hit in the Valkyrie, please? Maybe two hits? Nope, just one. Alright, so we're somehow doing okay here. But I want to do... This here. The Mega Knight here. Boom. Thank you. He just zapped. Can we get a Miner down here soon? Miner poison here, guys. Miner. Poison. Jump, 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 Mega Knight. Kill the Valkyrie. Man, the Valkyrie's tanky, guys. That is not a matchup that we can win right there. A level 2 Mega Knight versus a 11 Valkyrie. Unless you get some minions for help. Jump, Mega Knight. Oh, so close. So close, guys. Alright, so what do we want to do here? Let's go E-Wizard for this. Mega Knight up front here. If I were him, I would do a quick balloon rush on the right-hand side. Because I'm definitely weak to that right now. Alright, he's going to do that. I'm okay with that for sure. Come on, kill the Valkyrie, please. He's gonna arrows that, but we're still getting some minor chip damage done. Zapspell going down. Come on, E-Wizard, uh, e get a hit off, please. Do it for me. Do it for your king. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, let's go mini pickup for this prince. Miner back here. 
There we go. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Minions right here. Uh, how much damage do we need? Mm. One poison zap worth, guys, I think. Uh, come on, come on, come on. We can cycle, we can cycle, we can cycle. He's gonna do a balloon right here. Zap. Miner. Come on, please, Miner, get in there. Poison, go down. Come on, poison tick. Yes, guys, the final second, guys. That battle was so close. We almost went into a draw, but the poison clutching it up in the final second there, guys. Boom, 27 trophies. Wow, guys, this deck truly is insane. All right, guys, before I finish the video off, I have a random replay to share with you guys. This battle was in a grand challenge that I was doing earlier on this morning with a P.E.K.K.A. Hog deck. It has absolutely nothing to do with the video itself, which is why I'm throwing it in at the end of the video. It was just such an epic battle versus a Lataloon deck that I wanted to share with you guys. So right there, I make a huge mistake. I dropped the Ice Golem, the P.E.K.K.A. as well as the Bats. Now, you can see me dropping down like a million emotes right there with the oops, the oops, the crying face. What I wanted to do was do an Ice Golem, Hog Rider, Bats push, but I don't know what happened. I ended up dropping down the P.E.K.K.A. instead and you never really want to push with the P.E.K.K.A. at the bridge like that. So it was a pretty big mistake, especially since we are facing off against a Lava Loon deck, which this deck typically doesn't do that well against, especially if they get like a strong push going on. So right there, as soon as I see the Lava Hound go down, I do believe I drop a good game emote right here because I, th I figured the battle was over. Um, he's rocking Lava Loon. I made a mistake. There's no way I can win. But being that this is a grand challenge battle and gems were at stake, I didn't actually give up. I stayed until the end of the battle and ended up making a huge comeback. So right here, Electro Wizard on defense. Ice Golem going down to distract the Mega Minion. But unfortunately, it goes right into the Lightning Spell, taking everything out. Now, we're going to go ahead here, soak up a little bit of damage on our tower. Then once the Lava Hound pops, down goes the Zap Spell to finish off all the Lava Pops. Now, I do have the Hog Rider right here in my hand ready to go. But I know he has the Tombstone in his hand. And if you are using a Hog Rider deck and you know they have Tombstone ready to go, you can't push Naked Hog into Tombstone because it's basically a negative one trade for yourself. You always have to have some sort of plan in mind for getting past that Tombstone. My plan for getting past that Tombstone is two things. First is to have the Ice Golem in front of the Hog Rider. That way the tower is distracted by the, the Ice Golem. And when the Ice Golem explodes, it kills all the skeletons from the Tombstone. The other plan is to use the bats at the river to go in faster and take out the Tombstone as well, as you can see right there. Now, I did make one pretty big mistake on that push. What ended up happening was I dropped the Hog Rider in the back and the Ice Golem up front. But you gotta have the Ice Golem directly in front of the Hog Rider because the Hog Rider will push that Ice Golem faster and the Tower will lock onto the Ice Golem first, saving a bunch of health on your Hog Rider. But my mistake was I used the Ice Golem one tile to the right and the Hog Rider ended up pushing the Ice Golem out of the way and uh, ended up being targeted first by that Tower. So one small mistake right there costed me a couple hundred damage on his Tower. So right here, things are looking extremely bad, guys. Uh, he has a one Tower lead so far. My King Tower going down fairly low. Another Lava Hound going down on the left hand side, but I don't give up guys. A Hawk Rider going on the right, Tombstone is down, Hawk Rider at his tower, boom. Score is equal guys at one crown apiece. And the benefit that we have is we have the damage lead on his other tower right there, but watch this guys. Boom, Lava Hound Balloon on the left. Electro Wizard Lightning combo going down, his Lightning going down, finishing off my Electro Wizard. We also have the Bats to deal with that balloon now guys. Here we are in the overtime period. All it takes is one small mistake to lose the battle, guys. So there is no room for error now, especially with our tower at 1500 and his tower at 1200 and him rocking a Lava Loon deck, guys. So we're going to keep the pressure up, hopefully throughout the rest of the battle, and prevent him from setting up any of those massive Lava Loon push. So uh, we're going to go ahead here, wait for the Spear Grabbers to come back on my side of the arena, then drop down a naked Hog Rider. I do believe, nope, we end up using a uh, Hog Rider as well as a Lightning Spell against this Balloon right here, guys. Watch this. Lightning finishing off a couple of minions as well as the balloon and the balloon doesn't end up getting a hit on my tower so here we are with about a 600 health lead on our tower but a lava hound mega minion on our tower guys a bat's going down doing work to his mega minion as well as the e-wizard um goblin's going down i do believe to distract the lava pops of his lava hound because uh with 800 health left and with him having the uh lightning spell in his deck we don't want him getting any further chip damage to our tower so some pretty insane clutch defense here guys in the final couple of seconds, a balloon going down, 
Tombstone is dead. Now that I know his Tombstone is out of rotation, I am going to go in with a massive Ice Golem Hog Rider push right here. Ice Golem Goblins on the right-hand side, Hog Rider on the left-hand side. Zaspal going down and finishing off his Tombstone. Hog Rider getting one hit on his tower. All we need is a Lightning Spell, a Zap Combo to finish it off. So I'm going to go in with a Naked Lightning right here. But look at this, guys. Our Zaspal is way at the back of our card rotation. So uh, dropping cards as fast as I can, distracting his Lava Hound as long as possible. And finally, at the last second there, guys, the Zaspal goes down, giving me the two crown victory. Guys, that battle was honestly so insane. I know it had nothing to do with the video itself, but it was so crazy that I absolutely wanted to share it with you guys. So let me know if you enjoyed that battle and what would you rate the clutch comeback on that on a scale of 10. But anyways, guys, that will be the end of the video. Let me know what Mega Knight deck I should try next. And also, let me know how lucky you think that shop was out of a scale of 10 in the comment section down below. But anyways, guys, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for some more Clash Royale content. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We will see you in the next one.